and we're back with some more oxygen not included. And we're on the fire planet today. And we're going to attempt to build ourselves a sub magma rocket silo, which I can't believe I decided I was going to do that, but it, it might work. I have a few theories on how we could make it work. Probably some door pumps to move the magma around, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, over here, we're just trying to dig across this section, but unfortunately, it's full of magma. It's going to make it a little bit tricky, but I think with some judicious diagonal building, plenty of airflow tiles, made of steel, of course, but that's the only metal we brought, we should be able to get our way across to here. Well, minor complication. Uh, it turns out the pressure damage in here messed up our plans. It uh, took out that piece there. We were hoping to work our way along that, but unfortunately, no, magma had other plans for us. So, looks like we're going down and around. This, yeah, this is going to get interesting. We can't really push our way through there. We don't have a choice. Hmm. Let me rethink this. The joys of working in a high temperature environment. A few things to note. Make sure all of your bins are set to sweep and make sure those bins are outside of your rockets. You don't want to sweep anything into your rockets. In fact, if there's anything in your rockets, make sure you don't you unselect it. Except for, well, maybe oxalate, of course. But yeah, if you have steel in there or anything like that that might possibly get swept into your rocket, really avoid that. You can end up cooking things if you're not careful. Uh, as well as that, doors are your friend. Being able to build through them allows you to do stuff like this, which saves you so much hassle. Uh, there we go. Now we just gotta build across this direction. Hmm, easy peasy. Easy peasy. There may have been some minor complications. Uh, yeah, the... The rocks there broke. It's fine. It's fine. We'll put down a bunch of temperature shift plates and we'll use the temperature shift plates to drain the heat out of them and hopefully turn this stuff into igneous rock. Don't, don't stand in the magma. Okay, fine. Stand in the magma. Little bit of scalding never hurt anyone. You, you'll recover quick enough. I think... No, no, we should be fine. We should be fine. I'll figure a way out of this somehow. Some emergency building of temperature shift plates. All the magma has turned back into igneous rock. We're safe for just a little bit longer. Oh, wait. Is that... Okay, there's a little bit of magma there. We can take care of that. Another temperature shift plate or some ladder tiles. All right, back to the plan. We need to go in here. Finally, we've made it. We're over to the section where we can start on the rocket silo, and I think I think we're going to have enough space here. Uh, for this rocket silo, we're going to need, well, this many tiles wide, which is seven tiles wide, so... Mm, we need to not touch that, so... Yeah, we have a bit of space. We're going to need a sort of a tunnel in here to pump magma up. Let me start digging up this direction. It should be... There should be enough space. Should be. I'm going to do a little bit of math, maybe check my numbers, but I think we can stick in a rocket cellar right here. This is going to be a really, really tight fit, especially with that volcano. Mm, not perfectly positioned. Though it's way easier to build this uh, over, than over here, because over here there's just so much magma, we'd have to get the magma out of the way first. No, no, we've definitely got to build a rocket cellar this side. All right, uh, so I'm thinking we're going to use bunker tiles on the outside edge. We're going to have this one tile gap here. I was hoping to have two, but we don't have the room. We'll use one tile gap here to pump magma from the bottom of the rocket silo back up on top of the rocket silo, and we'll probably have the top of the rocket silo somewhere up here. Yeah, we can do this. We, 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 we have the know-how. Well, digging out this silo, we need to put some sand down here. How? That makes absolutely no sense. There's no sand on this map. It, I suppose you could cook dirt into sand, maybe? But there's no dirt on this map, either. Okay, so we have magical sand appearing. I'm just going to keep an eye out for anything else that's weird around here. I have stumbled upon something else that's a little bit odd about this planet. And it's this tile right here. This tile looks odd because it's 30 tons of obsidian. Uh, normally, tiles of obsidian are one ton, 1,000 kilos. This is 30,000 kilos of obsidian. Now, that's an awful lot of building material for one dig operation, so... I think we'll take that. In fact, I think we'll, I think we'll dig out all of the rocks here, because we're going to need the building materials. This place is pretty short of them. We've got 84 tons of obsidian, but once we start putting insulated tiles to insulate this thing, it's going to get a... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go through that pretty quickly. Okay, so we have the basis of what's going to be our silo. But we do need to remember that we've got to fit this rock in there, and it's 22 tiles high. Then we've got to fit in at least well, three layers of doors. I'm thinking three layers of doors because we're going to need a heat shield. The problem is, once the rocket lands, there's going to be a bunch of hot gases in there, and then we don't want to mix them with the top. We don't want them uh, cooling down the magma. There's, there's going to be a bunch of stuff we need to fit in. But uh, the main thing to note is we're going to have a bunch of bunker tiles that go, say, down this side here. Now, exactly how far up they go and how far down they go, we haven't quite figured out yet. But what will happen is we'll have door pumps pushing the magma up through here, 
and then we'll have to have insulated tiles on the outside of this made of oh, obsidian and the reason for the insulated tiles is that's to stop the heat coming out of this because we're going to have rocket gases in here and we don't want them exchanging heat so that's the sort of plan we're going for i just have to figure out exactly where we put the rocket i think we're going to put the rocket right here we're going to put the uh, the actual landing pad right there and then uh, i'll start figuring things out from that point on one thing we do need to realize though is this area beneath is going to be a whole bunch of doors i'm thinking considering the amount of magma up there we're probably going to need two layers not just one layer we're going to need two oh you know what i'll start building it and hopefully i can explain it better in my head it kind of makes sense but i won't know for sure until i start actually pla pl planting it down oh one very important thing that probably never gets brought up enough is bunker doors have an overheat temperature of 1200 c meaning we can't use them here the top of our rocket silo can't use bunker doors well you're, we're going to actually have to just use regular doors for the top of our silo there because they won't overheat it's kind of an annoyance i would like to use bunker doors but i can't find the a mod that increases the temperature of them plus it's uh, it's not really necessary though it would be an awful lot cooler to have bunk have uh, bunker doors at the top but hey it is what it is all right uh down here this here is going to be well what should happen is we open the doors at the top, all the magma lying on top of the doors falls down, and then it's going to go below these doors if we've done it right. Then once that happens, we close the doors, and then we push all the magma across with door pumps. In theory. In theory. Give me a few more minutes here. I think we can put in a few more pieces of infrastructure. I'm thinking what we're going to do is have, say, another two layers of doors like this, all the way across, pushing the magma up this section. In theory, this should work. In theory. But we'll find out what practice looks like in a minute. After a bit of... Well, okay, way too much hard thinking about it, we've instead went with buffer gates. These things are actually pretty handy. In fact, we're going to set these buffer gates to about two seconds. Uh, buffer gates, their, their deal is they output a green signal if the input is receiving a green signal, and they continue outputting the green signal for a amount of time after the input has received a red signal. So what this should mean... Well, once we're done is... When we have this on, all the doors will just be open. And then when we turn it off, these ones will all close one after another after another, but in order because of the way we've arranged it. It'll, you know what, w once we have all the uh, the automation in place, then, then we can go through it and it'll, it'll make an awful lot more sense. All done, all ready to go. And uh, let's just turn on the automation overlay so you can see it in action. It's very simple, once the red signal hits the buffer, it pauses two seconds before letting it through. And then it pauses two seconds again, lets it through, up, down, up, down, all the way around. And that means it slowly chains together all the doors, one after another, after... Yeah, I think some of them are not set to two seconds. That's fine. And done. And then when we untick it, they all open again. Boom. And this allows us to push all the magma from this side all the way through to that side. Well, that's the theory. At the moment, we're just scooping up all of the junk that we've got lying around here. We're going to have to wall this in, and this is going to be our spout that pushes all the, the magma up to the top. Hmm, you know what? We'll leave that there, I think. Or maybe should we put in another layer of doors? Nah, 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 we'll be fine. And that is the bottom of our magma pump. So when the doors open at the top, magma falls down. We will close these doors here. That will keep all the magma trapped in this section. Then we activate this here, and that should push all the magma all the way to the end and that should be the end of it actually where is the buffer gate yeah two seconds on all of them we might be able to cut that down to one second but i don't want to accidentally delete any magma that's literally the entire system all right now gonna open those doors thing is we need to get rid of that magma pocket what i'm thinking is we dig that out there and let all that magma flow down in here and we just gotta hope it doesn't uh, solidify it might not have enough temperature to manage it but doesn't matter if it doesn't the rest of the magma we dump in on top of it will melt the magma that's down there. So uh, I, I think it's a win-win no matter what way we do it. I think uh, first things first, actually, close those doors. You don't want any of the magma back flowing up. Actually, you know what? Yeah, close them. We'll close them for now. Time to build up this magma silo right up to about here, I'm thinking. Before I open this, there is one last thing I should really do. It, it, I'm, I'm trying to think ahead as far as I can here, because if we make any mistakes, it's really hard to remove magma from an area. What I want to do is have an area right here where we can compress all this magma up and just leave it there, and then we're going to have two manual switches to uh, to let it out. It's just if we don't give us this, uh, this little buffer area here where we can do this, things could get a little bit awkward. And what? Uh, damn it. Yeah, I messed up, didn't I? And I locked those. Yeah, they can't get in there until that is done. 
Fine, fine, fine. We'll get rid of those automation wires there and there, and we'll cancel the automation wires there and there. Damn it. My bad. We got we got the last of this done. I think we can close that there. Perfect. And if we close these as well at the same time, what it's left us with is a sort of a vacuum here. We'll have this vacuum seal in this section, or we can compress all the magma into that one tile. And then we can, well, open this up and then push it out or do other things. It, it gives us options. Without this, I'm not sure this would work quite right. But, uh, let's see, we're going to close you. And actually, we'll open you. There's no point keeping you closed for now. Okay, okay. I think we're good to start letting in the magma. Oh god, I hope we're good to let in the magma. That there is going to drop a b some uh, obsidian down there, but I think we're okay with that. And then we can start stripping out the rest of this. Actually, you know what? Make that a priority six. And maybe give our dupes away in there. In fact, yeah, let's cancel that. I want to make sure any magma that comes down doesn't splash over here and into this section. I want to just go straight down here and start filling up this uh, channel. And here we go. And so it starts. Let's see. I just want to make sure that the magma doesn't cool down too much. Yep, perfect, perfect. Just heats up the doors a wee bit. Nice. Okay. Step 1.2, I think we're, we're okay. Uh, in that case, let's just start coring out this area. We don't need a bunch of this here. Uh, yeah, that can all go. That can all go. Oh, yeah. This, this could work. We'll see. We just have to do a little bit of careful digging and we can... What the hell? Oh. Yeah, some of that's uh, turning to rock. That might be due to those obsidian tiles there. It's fine. We'll, we'll dump in some more magma in a bit. It'll be... Probably okay. Probably. Oh, I really should have made those out of insulated tiles, shouldn't I? No, 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 it's fine. Once we get enough magma through here, it should help jam up the temperature. We should keep above 1500 degrees. Hopefully. Uh, and you, grab all of that stuff and put it into uh, containers. We need the... <laughs> I'm trying to prevent any more debris ending up down there because I need to breathe it in and it's up down there. That's just permanent. We're never going back in there again. Not unless they invent atmos suits that allow you to swim in magma. Before we start chopping the top off here, let's see what, how much space this rocket is going to take up. I'd like to have a nice visual representation. I think the only types of rockets we'd be landing here would be rad bolts. I mean, if we go with hydrogen rockets, we're going to end up with a bunch of steam in here. That's, that's going to be problematic. It's going to cook the whole place and we won't be able to control the temperature too much. But I think radioactive fallout would be less of a problem. And so petroleum engines, we're going to have lots of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide engines, lots of carbon dioxide. Sugar engines, actually, I'm not even sure about those. Do they give off anything? You know what? No. We're going to stick with rad bolts because rad bolts are our main f form of transportation. So we're going to see how big this is. It should, what was it, 22? So it should be up to there. Or is it 20? No, it's 20. Yeah, so it should be up to there, I think. Assuming it's that high, that gives us a little bit of space to work with at the top. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to need about three tiles of space at least. So we're going to need say one row of doors there, one row of doors on top, and one row of doors on top of that. Uh, the reason being, when uh, this rocket lands, it's going to give off gases. And then what we want to do is sort of close all the three doors and then open the middle ones. And that'll mean any magma on top won't be able to, ex will only exchange heat with the top layer of doors, but because of the vacuum gap, won't be able to exchange heat with the doors below it. That's the theory. Hmm. But where exactly are we going to put this? Let me, uh, let me think about this for a little bit longer. Because, you know, we, we only really have one shot at this because repairs are not going to be an option. I think, I think we're going to do it this way. We're going to have four across the top and I'm going to put a, or these four right there. That should seal in nicely with the uh, insulated tiles going up adjacent to them. Then at the same time, we're going to put in a sealing door here. That means we can seal off this spout if we want to and just keep all the magma in there while the rocket's landing. So I was thinking about that. We need somewhere to store all the magma while the rocket is landing and I'd like to have the magma sort of trapped in here We've got it uh, well insulated and well, well, it should be easy to not break open. It should be really hard for it to get out because it's sealed in by bunker tiles. I decided not to use airflow tiles because I was worried that something like fallout or something like that would get in there and then it would start transferring temperature much easier. So that's why we're going with bunker tiles. They should be tough enough to handle almost, well, ridiculous pressures. Uh, you. Mm. Yeah, we still need to get that door and we need to put in some automation wires for these across the top. And you can... Oh, wrong one you there can close that. Perfect. All right, let's finish this off. I think we are ready to risk it. <laughs> we're going to, uh, 
we're going to remove this layer of rock all the way along to there. And if we remove that, the magma should start falling down and into here. Oh, and we should open those doors as well. Well, once someone picks up that obsidian. Uh, I think we might be able to get that fallen obsidian out of there. Our dips might get a little bit scaldy, but you know what? They can take a minor dip. But yeah, I'm going to uh, do something I don't normally do here, and I'm going to save this because this could be really difficult, and I don't want to mess this up after this much of a time investment. Yeah, that feels that feels much safer. If anything goes horribly wrong, and I think it you know, was unfair. Actually, no, it's probably not unfair. Ani is very good in that. Uh, so long as you've planned well enough and considered all the contingencies, yeah, you're probably fine. But okay, we'll get rid of all of those. And doors are open at the bottom yet. Magma can fall straight down there. That should be good. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. It just... There may be an issue with magma coming in there, and I don't want that to happen. So let's make those priority sixes. Right, because if we take that out and magma slides in that side I, I exit, it would be really awkward. So I'd prefer to have something... Oh, you know what? We'll move you up to there. We'll probably just... Actually, it doesn't really matter what we do then, does it? Nope. We'll have that little lip there, and hopefully that'll prevent that from happening. All right. Yeah, there we go. And... What you doing? Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. It's going to change the state temperature of the doors, so we're going to see some igneous rock forming, but as the... Dear Lord. Okay, it didn't go along the sides. That's that's fine. How, how are you doing up there, buddy? Chief, I am going to say that maybe, just maybe... You do your digging from over here, huh? Just saying, don't, don't stand in the stream. Right, there you go. Perfect. Good call. No, don't do not do that one. That one's right above... Okay, fine, do that one. Last one, last one, and then go back to bed and maybe lie down. You're probably feeling a little bit toasty. Are you? Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. All right. All right, not, not the worst. That kind of worked. Oh my god, there's way too much magma. Maybe I should have made three doors deep. We didn't have room for three doors deep. It's okay. It's okay. This is not this is not the worst. We are fine. We are fine-ish. Probably. Now you'll notice I didn't break that open there. But that's fine. Also fine because Right, okay, okay, okay. What we do is we close the doors. Yes, yes, we close those doors there. Now you gotta imagine this is after a rocket has uh, well we're about to land a rocket in here or something like those little lines. Oh, well, you know what? We'll do this once. If it works, then we'll worry about what it looked like if we actually had a rocket landing. You, close those doors. Oh, God, we're going to have to run this twice, aren't we? That's perfect. So all of this is sealed in here now. When we activate this, this will push all the magma all the way over to there. Off you go. Perfect, perfect. No messing about. Fine. Then this is keeping that open, so this is the one we definitely want. Let me double check my, uh, yeah, that's definitely right. We take this and we open it up. Oh, do you realize there is like, how much magma is doing there? 34,000 kilos. Yeah, there's, there's 34 tons of this stuff. That's going to rapidly push that magma up. Uh, okay, that was a bit anticlimactic. I was really expecting that to push the magma up like really fast. Fine, we will push that in like that. And then we will close the last door too. Open that up. Oh no, I was really thinking the magma would push up, but it doesn't seem to want to. It might be too viscous. Right. So, we've pushed all the magma out, we'll open the doors again. Time for round two. If it Did it start saving or did I hit pause? I hit pause, okay. Sorry, a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. This is uh, my first time dealing with magma on a scale like this. Okay, open the doors again. Close it. Next. Yep, and same thing again. Perfect. And that will start pushing its way up to the top. And then we go, yeah, this one first. Open up. Perfect. You go that way. You go that way. And we open the middle one. Okay, then. That's all the magma <laughs> compressed in here. Now, if we open this... Uh, oh, my God, there's 11 tons in there. Right. We're going to open the switch. <laughs> The magma pushes up. Now, the pressure should cause pressure damage there. Oh, come on. It's got to be enough pressure to push through that. If it's not, we're going to have to go out there and dig it. And I really do not want to send duplicates out there. 
I mean, I suppose we could at this point. We've sort of opened this up. Now, uh, we still have to remove this top part here. This is the top part where we're going to have to dig it out so that the rockets can get in and out. And I want to make it look as natural as possible. So we might strip it down to there or something. Or, mm, I don't know. It depends. We'll have to see where the, uh, the vacuum space is. How are we doing? Ah, pressure damage. You see? It's actually got those weird looking crack marks to it. That means this magma is trying to burst through there. And it should. Hmm. I suppose I could have dug that out first, but I think this seems slightly more dramatic. All right, let's fast forward time a bit and see how long it takes for 6,000 tons of magma pressure to push through. Oh my god, it's oscillating quite a bit. I was a little bit worried the bunker tiles with the extra layer of insulated tiles would not be able to keep this back, but I'm not seeing any pressure damage on anything here, so I think we're good on that front. Oh, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's do a little time skip. All right, about time. Oh, wow, it just blew the top off of that sucker. All right, all right, now how much of it comes out? I've got to imagine some of this is going to remain compressed um, and not actually spread apart. So that's, what, 2,000 kilos down there, pressure is going down, 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 all the way up, and then it pushes out across the top, and then we can just repeat the process. Though, hmm, there might be a little bit... I'd prefer to be do, able to do it in one sitting, as in we let down one blob of magma, we push it across and we're done. If we've got to do it in two rotations, that's, well, that's way more effort. And this is really only the start as well. This isn't, oh, you know what? We'll let it settle out for a cycle. We'll come back in one cycle. And uh, once it's settled, we'll try and run this again. While we are waiting for the, uh, the magma to settle itself out, we're going to have a, a quick checkup on something here that was mentioned to me. Uh, in this here, we have our waste overflow going out here and getting dumped on top of the, uh, the oxalite tank to help, uh, well, help dispose of it. But... What we could do, oh, if I can find a gas pipe, is we could just take that waste and send it down here to this. This is actually, is that the output or the input? Oh god, I think it's the, yeah, input port. So we can dump gas out this port and it will vent it into the background of space so we don't have to deal with it. That's another option we've got, which would free up one tile of space. I just haven't figured out what we could use that one tile of space for yet. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back for waiting for the, the magma to stretch itself out. I have done a bunch of testing here and I think I know a very simple way to do this. You see there's still pressure in here that's slowly relieving itself. So you can see it's 27, uh, 2723 kilos but that's slowly going down over time. But we don't care. So let's, let's imagine there's a rocket coming back and we've uh, or a rocket coming to land here and we've stripped off the abyssalite and we're, we're ready to do our thing. Well what we do first is we close this. That prevents any more magma from pushing its way out of here. And now we're ready to actually fill up down here, so we open this. There's going to be an awful lot of switches involved. Bear in mind, this is my first time doing it. There's probably more convenient ways of automating this all. But for now, this was more, well, we just wanted to get it working. So we open these doors. And the magma drops straight down. Done. All right, then. We'll have to wait until it's finished. We're not going to land the rocket just yet. It's all got to fill up. Come on. There we go. All right, so it's full. It's filled up. Then... We close that there. Rocket's still not allowed to land just yet. We need to push this all out of the way. Reason being, the rocket's going to give off gases and we need to minimize the amount of interaction between those gases and the magma because we don't want that magma losing temperature. Over time, it would eventually drain out of temperature and as well as that, the gases in there being boiling hot would mean our duplicates would get horribly scalded, which would be bad. So we push all of that in there and then we're just going to make a quick vacuum seal here. There we go. So now there's no liquids or gases in here, which means this cannot transfer temperature with this magma over here. And, well, okay, there's nothing we can really do about the magma on top. Some of the gases from the landing rocket are going to interfere with that. But we then tell the rocket to land. Rocket will come down and land. We might want to replace our automation wires down here with tungsten. Uh, yeah, reason being, rockets can potentially melt the steel eventually. Though I'm not sure if it'll do it from one launch and landing, and I'm figuring the temperature will be reset by the magma every time it comes through. We'll, we'll find out first time we land a rocket. And is the safe finished? Yeah, there we go. But rocket comes in and lands. Moment the rocket lands, what we do is we close the doors. In fact, we close all of those, and we close all of these. Great. However, this whole room is, remember, full of boiling steam, and the stuff's going to be interacting with these doors, so that would be bad. So what we want to do is open this. And now this is a vacuum seal. So there's a vacuum seal here, meaning it can the gases in here can only exchange temperature with these bottom layer of doors. And they can only exchange temperature with this layer of doors. We'll put in a liquid lock, probably made out of molten lead or something like that. 
we need to keep the temperature we need to then reduce the temperature in here to below 700 degrees but before we do that we need to hide our layer so we open this up and remember this is all a whole bunch of heavily compressed magma so that just starts spewing the magma which starts to cover over the top again now we don't really now at first i was more concerned how long do we leave this open for or do we leave this we just leave this open and the magma keeps equalizing and equalizing and equalizing but we don't actually need to do that we just need to leave this open long enough for it to get enough magma to cover the base once that's done we can close this off again and then we don't have to worry about any more uh, magma pushing its way out but with that done we're, we're sorted we actually it, it works in theory this should work dealing with the gases in here oh that's going to be a whole other story I, i'm not sure exactly how well we can do it but we've prepped we've prepped we've got some good good systems in place i think if there's way too many switches there's like one two three four five six seven seven switches right it's a little complicated i get it but you gotta imagine first time round, first time round. so it's, it's going to be a little bit wonky now uh oh yes we can uh, take that switch up there and turn it off no more magma pushes its way out we are completely sealed in however you got to worry about a few things one the gases that uh, come off nuclear rockets are not really as hot as the magma so eventually we're going to start chilling this magma down currently it's what 15 30 15 40 so it's lost about 40 or 50 degrees in temp now a lot of that was down to these obsidian tiles and the bunker tiles and the doors and stuff like that but even still over time we'd eventually start to cause this to solidify which would be bad so i'm thinking we dig out this uh, volcano it should be a niobium volcano and we use the heat from that we dump the heat from that into this magma through here to keep it all heated up well we'll have to come up with a system for that not this episode though then we'll also have to deal with the gases in here the gases in here are going to interact with these doors and they're probably going to end up well above 700 degrees and above 700 degrees our dupes get scalded so we'll have to put in a steam turbine and maybe some gas loops that go through here to pull out the heat to reduce the temperature to below 700 degrees so that our dupes can safely exit the rocket we need a double liquid lock one here probably molten lead on one side and then we can use whatever water or whatever on the other side so that they can go into a proper well regu temperature regulated base we're going to need to do a lot of coring out before this layer will be operational of course i'm not actually sure what we're going to use the layer for um ooh, actually maybe we should bottle up all the magma put it into a cannon and fire it back to somewhere yeah we should bottle up the magma and fire it somewhere because yeah we're going to steal the molten core of this planet Ooh, and that means we're going to need another statue um yeah any suggestions for what kind of statue should go on a volcanic layer i mean i know we had a coup on the last planet because you know a coup had those uh those epic lines about oh raising a statue from the ocean if i can recall once a month a monolithic tribute will rise from the depths of the ocean to remind all is the master of this world now be gone so yeah we, we, we have a coup on this planet who do we put on tostibo hmm yeah i am going on holidays uh next week when is this coming out friday yes yes so i've got to do my packing like now because i'm leaving tomorrow and uh, there'll be there'll be no episodes of ani no continuation of this until the week after unfortunately i'll try and get out a, a squeeze out a little tutorial i should be able to get a little tutorial on maybe on food production yeah that'd be a good one i'll try and get out a tutorial tonight but uh barring that uh not many episodes next week i'm afraid or not many uh, not many videos next week or if any at all hopefully i can get a couple out but anyway i uh, i'm gonna cut this out here i hope you enjoyed our sub magma rocket silo and uh Good luck.